Well, when the S&P 500 broke below the 2023 level, we went officially into pullback mode, which is 5 to 10 percent decline. And right now, actually, we're sitting right on top of the average pullback since World War II at minus 7 percent. We'll have to see the S&P slip below 1917 in order to go into what's called correction territory or a decline of 10 percent or more. No, I think that we uh, basically are seeing a, a digestion of a lot of these gains. We have had an, a, um, a less than average amount of volatility over the last several years. Uh, we have gone 47 months without a decline of 10% or more versus the average of 18 months. Uh, so we really have been basking in the sun a little bit too long, and I think we're paying for it now. Well, I think the last couple of days, people have started to lose confidence uh, that our economy is strong enough to withstand a hike in interest rates. Uh, we've had concerns about the direction of oil prices. Now we're worried that China's growth is slowing. Uh, also, U.S. corporate profits uh, appear to be anemic. And now the Fed sounds as if they're getting cold feet. So if everybody around you is starting to get scared, it's a little hard for you not to follow suit.